couple of years ago that Tyler drivers were introduced to those flashing yellow arrow traffic lights. I'm still just getting used to that. Right. Now we can add flashing red arrows to that list. Katie has Nikki Diaz right now. She's somewhere there. I see the big fly van. Nikki, what's going on with these are flashing red lights? Neil Casey, we've got some fighting going on here in Tyler. It's between the U-turners and the red light turners. But I talked to city officials and found out just who's turning the right way. The intersection of Paluxy and the Loop just added a new light for drivers, a red flashing arrow. But no one really knows what it means. Yeah, I hadn't really seen any around town, so I wasn't sure what it meant. No, it was very confusing. It was new. And since we didn't either, I talked to city officials about what drivers are supposed to do with this new instruction. Flashing red arrow, you must come to a complete stop, look if it's safe to do so, and then turn in the direction of the arrow. We notice at Loop and Paluxy there are a lot of U-turners in conflict with the right turn, and there's turning right on red. Employees in the shopping center at the intersection say wrecks happen repeatedly between those sets of drivers. Oh, we see it very frequently. There's constantly people honking and trying to get around that corner, so it's, it's pretty bad. We see those wrecks happen quite frequently. City officials hope that the flashing red arrow cautions drivers on the side streets, causing them to yield to those on the main street who are making U-turns. A location where we know we have that type of issues, then we use this new technology to help us prevent some accidents. This technology means both progress and prevention for the city of Tyler. The technology is available to us to help us prevent some accidents. I'm all for that. City officials tell us that the lights are still in the testing phase, but if proven successful, they could turn up in other dangerous intersections. Reporting live in Tyler, Nikki Diaz, KETK News. You all got that?